Hi everyone, I went to MAGFest this year and I decided to bring my really nice camera and record the, the majority of things going on, which is what you're going to be seeing here today. It's basically a vlog, but it's also going to be really high quality footage. Look at this right now, look at that rim light on ship. And here's Tom. And we have a stare down between Apex and Max. You can check these guys out of their own YouTube channels. They'll all be linked in the description. These are my best friends, and this event wouldn't have been nearly as special without them. We just film everything now? That's what we do? We just, we just film all time. The atrium area at this hotel had amazing neutral lighting. First thing we're checking out because it's the only way to get into all the areas is through the marketing and vendors, the marketplace. We came browsing through the first day and on the third day, the last day, I decided to buy what I wanted. These were beautiful looking actual metal cut masks. This fallout setup was really nice. These are all handcrafted. This is the console room, you can play whatever games you want, you can ask them for some games from their library and rent controllers and whatever for the setups. At every console you can imagine. Here's Max and Aphex playing Ultimate Marvel vs Capcom 3. And Max is officially retired from UMVC3. Had a couple melee setups and nice four player free for alls going on on them.
Oh, who's this guy? This is the guy I made the article. That I called. Okay, we're coming back to him. There was a full arcade, I didn't get to show much footage of, but the whole arcade had a bunch of classic uh, cabinet games. Our friend Apex ended a Killer Instinct tournament and he actually came in second place. Me and Miguel checked out this one room that had a bunch of really old classic uh, consoles and PC games. We also all entered the Street Fighter V tournament. We didn't do well, but we had a lot of fun, and especially I had a lot of fun playing the game competitively. Here's the elevator view. Half of it, at least. Alright, Max, what are we off to do? We're off to go uh, talk to some game developers, play some indie games that uh, haven't come out yet. Hopefully, we'll try to make some connections today. Yeah, we'll go to Xbox Connect. First indie game of the day, uh, Elevator Hell. Uh, by the developers of the Gale Hotel. That's not going to work. Haven't found anything yet. These walls are really sealed. There's no clips out of anywhere. It's nothing. Nothing right here. Hold on. Hold on. Light. Light feel a clip through the vent. I say if we just make it look good for that. I mean, we lose points, but. I'm going to skim through all of the indie game footage that we got quickly here. If you want to see, we're going to do a whole lot of coverage on all the indie games we played on our group channel, Go to Bedcast. So if you want to see these indie games in depth, make sure you go there. My favorite games definitely had to be Blade Ballet and Just Shapes and Beats, easily. There were actually a ton of uh, cabinet indie games which I didn't think existed, but here they are. This was definitely the best cosplay of MAGFest. One night I lended my camera to Jesse who recorded a bunch of his own footage.
And on the last night, we all went out to eat, and there was this beautiful fog overlooking the Ferris wheel here. And it was just gorgeous throughout the little town here. MacFest's over, time to head home. Peace out, peace out. See you all later, peace out. And after a three hour car ride, I finally returned home to my dog. And the other dog. Hi. Hi, Rita. <laughs>